About 130 years ago, the township of Waratah in northwest Tasmania quickly grew from nothing into the centre of business for the region. It all came about when prospector James Smith discovered a mountain of tin. The Mount Bischoff mine started a bonanza in this remote region of Tassie. Five and a half million tonnes of ore took the entire state into great economic prosperity. It's hard to imagine as you walk down the main street of Waratah today that this quiet, relaxed, sleepy village was once a thriving metropolis, boasting nearly 4,000 people and the world's richest tin mine. It certainly was a little busy town, yes. And all founded on tin and mining. Yes, and uh, in fact it was the first ever mine in Tasmania which led to other exploration of the west coast and today mining is one of its staple industries. And also based on the waterfall here. Now, that water played a very powerful part in the history of the area. Well, apart from supplying the townspeople with all their water needs, it also worked for the mine in that it was used to clean the ore. It also drove one of Tasmania's oldest hydroelectricity stations, which is still down there today, but not used, sadly. You can also see the remnants of buildings here and structures and brick piers, all part of that mining history. At one time, this whole valley was covered with buildings, all to do with the, the mining operation, which was very important to Tasmania at the time. Supporting townships like this usually disappear when the mining stops. But up until that happened, this town was a humming.